Hey guys, I'm back with episode two of my rice water challenge. It has been eight weeks since I've been using the water and this time I've used the fermenting method and I let the water sit two days and I added some bergamot oil, which is supposed to be good for a uh, healthy scalp and growth. So uh, right here, I'm just going to strain the rice water into a cup and then pour it into an applicator bottle. Now it's kind of strong because I let it sit up for a few days so I'm going to dilute it with some water and I am using 100% natural spring water all right I'm going to put the top on and shake it up well then I'm going to start putting it on my hair and making sure that I really concentrate on my scalp and give my scalp a little massage just to make sure it penetrates and then from there I'm going to apply it from root to ends And as I'm applying the rice water, I'm also de finger detangling and two strand twisting my hair in sections. Now this is going to make it a lot easier once I rinse the rice water out. My hair will already be sectioned off and detangled and ready for the blow drying process. After fully saturating my hair with the rice water, I'm going to cover it with a shower cap. Then I'm going to use a microfiber towel to help keep the water from running everywhere. I'm going to pour the remaining rice water into a mason jar and put it in the refrigerator. The mason jar will help it last twice as long. I left the rice water on my hair for about 20 minutes. Then I rinsed it out and as you can see, my twists are still intact. I'm going to remove some of the excess water using this microfiber towel. Then I'm going to spray my hair with some leave-in conditioner mist by Cream of Nature. And then I'm going to go uh, partially dry my hair by sitting under a hooded dryer. For the sake of time, I'm not going to show the drying process, but as I stated earlier, I'm going to partially dry it under a hooded dryer. Then I'm going to follow that up with an actual handheld dryer. Now this... Um, helps reduce the amount of direct heat that I put on my hair. So next I'm going to show some comparisons from week one versus week eight. This is a front view and as you can see you can tell the difference that my hair has grown substantially. This is the left, I mean I'm sorry, the right side, your left side. Um, I'm pointing on the first video of where my hair was a little choppy and it wasn't even and as you can see week eight it is growing out. And then on the left side, it is also growing and filling in quite well. And then I, there was a spot, um, I had a small bald spot in the front of my hair. If you look very closely on the left, you can kind of see it where it is and how it's, my hair is kind of thin right at the front. Um, and But look on the right side, right here where I have my finger, you can see the small little pieces of hair growing in. So that is a very good sign. Again, here is a front view. Then I'm going to do a 360 turn to let you guys see the comparison as well. So I'm going to turn to my right. And then you can see the back view. You can really see uh, where my hair has gotten thicker. And then here's another side view. And you can really look on the, if you could look at the sides of my hair, you can tell it has grown as well. And this is currently how my hair is. And it is uneven, but I'm not worried about that right now. I'm just going to let it grow out and then cut it. And after eight weeks of growth, these are the results. And I'm so excited that the rice water is actually working and I am seeing progress. Thank you guys for watching and leave any questions below.